Okay, so this is basically like a series. So the first video I made was about what is a spiritual awakening? How do you go? How do you know you're going through a spiritual awakening and how to kind of integrate back into society after you go through an awakening? Um, this part is going to be part two and the next part is going to be my story of awakening. So part two is going to be about the depression phase, the dark night of the soul, ego death, um, and just not wanting to be on earth anymore, not wanting to live and having your soul feel like it's dying and all of that stuff that we go through on this journey. So um, I guess I'll have to explain my own journey too. So we'll see if we could fit that all into one video, but we'll see. I'm just kind of winging it um, on these videos, but yeah. Um, when you begin awakening, a lot of people most of us awaken from going through a traumatic experience. It could be one traumatic experience. It could be that your childhood was traumatic, your um, teenage years, any trauma, any, um, any horrible issue that you might've gone through. I guess you can call that like a trauma, like um, depression, depression, anxiety, darkness, not wanting to live anymore, being suicidal, literally not being able to handle living on this planet anymore. These are all part of awakening. Now, I won't say every single person who's depressed is going through an awakening, but I honestly feel that most people that are depressed is because their soul is unhappy because this matrix, this third dimension does not cater to the spiritual. It does not cater to our soul. It caters to the physical, um, material world, which does, does our soul no good. That's why we have so much depression. It's why we have so much anxiety. It's why people are miserable and not wanting to live anymore because we live in a society that is not good for our soul. And it only cares about the material and not the spiritual. And for us to be happy, whole and complete, we need the spiritual aspect of life. We need things for our soul, our soul. We're, we're souls having a physical experience, not the other way around. We are spiritual beings. We need a reality that's going to cater to our soul and not our physical reality. And in this third dimension, it's all about like the physical, the material, money, um, all of the things that really don't matter in life, to be honest. It's all about like, oh, get money, climb up this corporate ladder, um, American dream, like all of this stuff. None of that shit matters. None of it. What matters is awakening to why on earth you are even here on earth. <laughs> like, why are we here? It's not to go to work, live a nine to five and be fucking miserable and work and like all of this crap that people make you believe that that's all there is, that's all life is. That's not all there is. It's what really matters is like the spiritual aspect of life, why we're here. And so when you're awakening to this, it could be very depressing because you're in a world that doesn't cater to your soul. So your soul is literally dying. It's dying working a job that you fucking hate, that's making you want to not live. It's dying because you're in a relationship that's fucking horrible and you're not being treated the way you should. And anything like that is going to be part of your awakening. So it's going to be a very dark like situation. It could go really deep. Like maybe you were beaten, molested, raped. Like any of these things that, that we go through here on earth is going to be part of an awakening so if you're experiencing any darkness, um, it's, it's all happening to contribute to your awakening. We chose certain things in our life that are going to help crack us open, like hit rock bottom so that we can begin to rebuild our lives. Everything has to fall apart so that it could start coming together. It is a death, in a sense, so that we can start rebirthing and awakening. So it's all purposed. 
it's all purpose. Everything we go through in life has meaning and our soul has agreed to, to go through these things. Um, a lot of us, it takes a lot to wake us up. So our soul has basically like coded ourselves to go through certain traumas so that it could trigger us into an awakening, if that makes sense. So just know that if you're at a point where you are so depressed that you don't even want to live anymore, that it's all happening for a reason and that you're going to get through it. Do not give up. Don't give up. This is the beginning because shit gets really, really good. When you get through this darkness, it's the first stage. When you get through this darkness, it is the beginning of your whole freaking life changing and you are going to be living heaven on earth soon so do not give up because it gets so much better the darkness is the beginning the depression the not wanting to live anymore the wanting to give up like your soul like literally wanting to give up and not be here anymore is the beginning of your journey and it gets so much better and i could finally see being on the other side of this years down the line from when i i felt like i didn't want to live anymore my life is a dream come true now. I'm literally living my dream life. And if I would have known that all of this was going to happen when I didn't want to live anymore, it would have made me very hopeful. But I didn't have videos like this to watch. And this is why I make this video. Because I want people to know who are going through depression. They do not want to live anymore. They fucking hate Earth because Earth is the most difficult planet your soul can incarnate on. I want them to know. I want you to know that there's hope. You're going to get through this. This is the beginning. This is the place, the point where everything in your life breaks down. You get thrown into full darkness. That is where you find your inner light. That is where you find your inner light and your life is going to start to shift. So if you're going through that, my heart is with you and you're going to get through it. Just hang in there. Hang in there and you will get through this and things are going to start shifting drastically. This is not happening to you for no reason this is happening for you to wake you up help you find your light help you step into your power and help you be the soul that you came here to be it's going to awaken you to your divine purpose your mission why you even chose to be here on this planet you chose this your soul chose to be here I know it's crazy to think that anyone would actually choose this because when you first start awakening Earth seems like hell, and that's because the third dimension is like hell. It's like your own inner hell. So just trust that you chose this and it's for a, week, a, a, a reason, and you are going to start to see from awakening and starting on the spiritual journey, you are going to start to see why you chose to came here because Earth is actually the most magnificent planet in the world. I used to fucking hate Earth. I used to fucking say, why the fuck would I ever choose to be on this planet? This shit is fucking hell. I fucking hate it here. I want to leave. I want to go back home to my home planet. Like, get me the fuck out of here. I fucking hated Earth. And now I fucking love Earth. I love being human. I am thriving. I am living my dream life. And this is only the beginning. So if you're in the beginning stages of awakening, just know that this shit gets so much better. You have to go through hell to get to the heights of heaven. Heaven is not a physical place you go when you die. I don't believe that. Heaven is the fifth dimension. Heaven is a frequency, a dimension, a vibration. It's a state of mind. It's a state of consciousness where you are in bliss and you are just living your heaven on earth. Your dreams are coming true. You're manifesting your dream life. This is a place we're heading to, but you can't just skip from where you're at right now, just awakening to that. You have to move through the journey. And I've been on this journey for years and I'm just now finding, I'm not even fully there yet. I'm just now in the very beginning stages of shifting into this 5D consciousness and living my heaven on earth. I'm not even fully there yet. So imagine what awaits me. Imagine what awaits you. It's a process though. It's not about the destination. It's truly about the journey. It's all about the journey. The journey is the most beautiful part. It's the whole, it's, it's the whole, I don't want to say the whole point. It's just, it's about the journey. The journey is so beautiful. When you truly see that and truly start seeing the miracle in existence, 
that's when life starts to become very beautiful. So when you start looking around and saying, holy shit, I'm fucking a human on earth. Like I exist in a physical body. I'm a freaking soul in a human body. What the fuck? That's a miracle. Existence is a miracle. It is so beautiful. There are so many people who signed up for this mission to incarnate as a human on earth during this shift in consciousness we lined up for this shit because we knew that this was going to be good we knew that it was going to be such an experience for our soul and it truly is so i really hope that this video helped um in some way i'm i want to send you guys some reiki because my hands have been really warm the whole time that i'm making this video so i want to send reiki um and then um then I'm gonna make part three about my story and my awakening and my journey and what I went through and hopefully that helps too. I just wanna make these videos to help. So if you guys wanna see any other videos from me, please leave in the comments and let me know. And for now, just close your eyes, open your heart and I'm going to send Reiki. I just saw 1111. I'm going to send Reiki um, energy healing to you guys if you want to be open to receiving it. So close your eyes and relax. sending healing energy and so much love, so much strength and blessing to you guys on this journey. Thank you for being here. Thank you for choosing to wake up and be part of this shift and help change the world. Just by existing, you're doing your part. Just by being you, you are helping others. You're helping the world. You're helping shift the vibration of a whole collective of the whole world. Thank you for being here. You are such a strong soul. Don't ever forget that you existing is a miracle and you are helping people just by existing. So if existence feels hard right now, just know that just by being here, you are helping shift the world. You're helping change the world just by existing. Sending so much love so much love and gratitude thank you for being here i love you so much okay i hope you guys felt that i'm gonna make part three now and you're such a strong soul hang in there if you're going through it right now i love you guys